Spread of the Omicron variant couldn't come at a worse time, just weeks before millions of people are expected to travel for the holidays. Even if you're not traveling to a country where the variant has been detected, many people are worried their destination could be next and if they'll have trouble returning home. In this week's all new Q&A, Olivia Roberts took your questions and concerns to the experts. Well, before you book your trip, you'll want to make sure you're up to date on the travel restrictions in place at your destination. Some places may require you to quarantine once you're there, and others may ask for proof of a negative COVID test. As for your return home, you'll definitely need a negative COVID test taken just one day before boarding your flight. That's regardless of your vaccination status. The CDC is also ramping up COVID testing at major U.S. airports, offering free rapid tests to international travelers in Los Angeles, New York, Atlanta, Newark, and San Francisco. Once your travel plans are made official, the Department of Health shared these three tips to keep you and your family safe. First, experts say everyone five and older should get vaccinated as soon as possible. They say vaccination is the best line of defense against not just Omicron, but also the Delta variant. Second, wear a mask wherever you're going. And finally, get a COVID test three to five days after you arrive at your destination and three to five days after you get back home. The way we stop the spread and slow the spread is the same, whether it's Delta or Omicron or something else that um, comes up in the future. So really appreciate you know, anyone who is going to be traveling for the holidays or work or otherwise to really embrace testing as a layered mitigation measure that helps us keep our community safe. As for mask wearing, President Biden has extended his transportation mask mandate through March. The mandate requires travelers to wear masks on airplanes, buses, trains and boats and in airports and other transportation hubs. Biden first signed the order requiring masks for travelers shortly after taking office in January and in August, the TSA extended it through mid January. As more data is released about Omicron, we want to make sure you're up to date with the latest information. If you have your own questions about the variant or anything else, head to kxy.com and submit them in the Q&A section. We'll go to the experts for the answers. Reporting in studio, I'm Olivia Roberts for News Now.